chapter 8, Mishnah 1. Sometimes a woman will find a kesem, plural, kesamim, or blood stain on her skin or clothing. In such a case, the woman becomes tame as a nida on a rabbinic level. A kesem will make a woman tame as a nida only when there is a good chance that the blood came from a womb. Our Mishnah discusses the different parts of a woman's body and clothing where such blood would be likely to appear. A woman who sees a kesem bloodstain on her skin in a place that is opposite the opening of the womb is Tame Azanita, because it is likely that this blood came from her womb. But if the kesem is not opposite the opening of the womb, she is Tahor, because the blood probably came from some other source. And the Mishnah gives examples. If she sees a kesem on her heel or on the tip of her big toe, she is Tame. When a woman kneels down with her feet placed beneath her body, her heel is touching the opening of her womb. When taking a step, a woman's big toe passes directly under the opening of her womb. Therefore, it is likely that the kesem she sees on these part body parts is blood that dripped from her womb. If she sees a kesem on her leg or on her foot, the law is as follows. If it was on the inside, i.e. on the parts of her legs or feet that touch each other when she are directly under the womb, the womb opening, but if the kesem was on the outside part of her legs and feet, she is tahor, because it is unlikely that blood from the womb tripped onto the outer parts of her legs or feet. And if the kesem was on either of the other sides of her legs or feet, that is, what we would call the front or back, she is tahor, because it is unlikely that blood from the womb dripped onto these areas. The Mishnah now discusses the law of kesemim on clothing. If she saw a kesem on her tunic, a very long shirt with a belt around the waist, the law is as follows. From the belt and below, she is tame. Since the tunic hangs loosely on her body and moves around a lot, it is possible that any part of the tunic below the belt could have passed under the opening of her womb. If the kesem is from the belt and above, she is tahor, because it is unlikely that blood from the womb dripped onto the upper part of her tunic. If she saw a kesem on the sleeve of the tunic, the law is as follows. If it is on the part of the sleeve that can reach the area opposite the opening of the, of the womb, she is tame because the blood may have dripped onto the sleeve from the opening of the womb. But if the kesem is on the upper part of the sleeve that will not reach the opening of the womb, she is tahor. The mission describes cases where the above laws do not apply. If she would take the tunic off and cover herself with it at night when she went to sleep, and the kesem was found anywhere on it, even on the part above the belt or on the upper part of the sleeve, she is tame, because the tunic moves around on her body as she sleeps, and any part of it might have come near the opening of her womb. The same is true for a pallium, a type of head covering. If a woman placed a pallium loosely over her head when she went to sleep and then found a kesem on it, she is tame, because the pallium might have been moved might have moved around during the night and come near the opening of her womb.